Hello, this is Coach from DFS Coach Talk. Real quickly, before you watch the podcast, I want to mention a couple quick things. We, we really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, we have a special offering here at DFS Coach Talk that is different than any other DFS provider in the industry, and that's why we're the fastest growing. Uh, we don't use optimizers. We build everything by hand. We have a group of pros that put in hours and hours every day preparing winning lineups for you in the NBA, NFL, PGA, and Major League Baseball. And we're also doing bonus coverage right now of KBO until sports come back. So join now, get a free month this whole month. Uh, the uh, memberships don't start until July 30th. So enjoy that, make some money, build some bankroll. Definitely uh, engage with us on all social media. Enjoy the podcast, and let's take down some money and just crush it. Hello, and welcome to DFS Coach Talk. Today is Tuesday, July 7th, and I am joined with, by Mr. Sugar Shane Caldwell to go over an awesome KBO slate. Uh, we're doing this podcast in the morning. We're shifting to morning podcasts uh, to get them out there and work on our process. And I, by the way, am uh, Joe Sarvati, affectionately known as Coach, and uh, excited to go over a KBO slate. We have we had a great, great night last night in FanDuel and DraftKings and just really excited about it. A uh, lot of sweat there, a lot of fun last night, wouldn't you say, Shane? Yeah, no, that, uh, the exciting thing is the, the Lotte Hanwha game, and we're actually doing this in the morning, and it, that's still going on. That's in the top of the 12th right now. Uh, we did have some players from that. Uh, but, yeah, a lot of these lower-owned uh, sleeper players that we had on our, our DraftKings player pool and also our FanDuel lineups are, are hitting really good tonight. So our research definitely paid off for the, for the slate yesterday. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be uh, definitely uh, happy to post some winning lineups here and uh, happy to uh, provide some good stuff for our members today. Absolutely. And yep. I'm happy to say I've got a 1% uh, lineup with a, a second place in a tournament with 259 P or 400. How many did I tell you? 459? I think it was like 260. 259. Yeah, yeah, 259. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, can't beat that. Real, really excited about that. And. Uh, you know, we gave out our player pool and our FanDuel lineups and everything uh, and got in there and made a few adjustments uh, at lock. So fantastic way to start out uh, the week. And uh, we look to follow it up with a really good uh, card tonight of KBO action. Uh, before we get started, though, how about this? Uh, we need to say happy birthday to uh, Mr. Darius Hansen. That is Andrew's son. Darius is five years old today. So we wanted to say wow. happy birthday, Darius. Happy birthday. That's awesome. Five. I know, yeah. man. So Sorry. that is good stuff. I hope you're uh, giving your dad a high five right now. So there you go. But have a great day. And uh, Shane's jumping in today for Andrew so that they can have some special uh, dad time there and, and celebrate his birthday. So great stuff. And it's always family first here with Coach Talk. No doubt about it. All right. Our sponsors real quickly. MyBookie.ag, the place to go for your sports wagering and casino action. Uh, you go to MyBookie.ag, use the promo code Coach Talk, and you receive that exclusive offer of 50% of whatever you're uh, signing up with, all the way up to $1,000 and a $25 free play. Uh, also, our buddy racing friends at TVG, you can go to DFSCoachTalk.com, click on the TVG logo, and you will receive, just by signing up, an exclusive offer from TVG of a risk-free $300 bet. So, fantastic offer from those guys as well. Uh, very excited. If you're watching us on YouTube, right below us here, please thumbs up and uh, subscribe. It's We're really growing our channel fast and, uh, you know, it's great to subscribe because then you get a little uh, uh, information there, notification when our podcast is posted. If you're listening to us audio-wise on 
pretty much anywhere podcasts are found. Uh, you know, also go in there, rate, review, five stars, all that's super appreciated. And you can hit that little alarm button uh, so that you also are notified when our podcasts go up. So great stuff. Um, like I said, we're, we're shifting to our normal schedule, uh, which is the three-step process schedule. And I'll just touch on that super quickly uh, for you know some of our newer listeners, but uh, in the main sports, we wanted to get used to this with KBO and PGA because that's what we'll be doing in basketball, baseball, and football. And what we do is we recommend that you watch the podcast either on your way to work or, uh, you know, a lot of people listen during work if they're doing, you know, desk work or at lunchtime. So we get it out early enough that you have the opportunity, excuse me, to take in uh, the podcast. And then throughout the day, what we recommend is whenever you get the opportunity to do that is choose the right contest you want to get into so they don't fill because especially when the main sports comes back, uh, the, the good contests are going to fill. People are going to be going uh, starve crazy for uh, DFS. So, you know, get the right uh, contests. Put your uh, holder lineup in there with some of the stuff we talk about on the podcast. Get some ideas of pricing. Lock that down. Then watch our Twitter feed. You know, we're at DFS Coach Talk. You can listen in throughout the day. Uh, or, you know, double check it and see what we're posting, any info, any changes, any weather, you know, just stuff to keep you abreast of what's going on. And then the third step is getting in Discord with us 30 to 40 minutes before lock. And with KBO, uh, it's different. That lock is usually like 4.30 in the morning or whatever the case may be for that. Uh, so it's it's crazy hours. But when Regular sports come back, it'll start being just like, you know, like always with regular hours. So you want to get in Discord. That's where we put our full fan duel lineup. We are posting our DraftKings player pool uh, and a lot of Discord talk from our pros uh, about everything that's going on on that slate. And that's where we're seeing tremendous amount of winners and uh, very excited about that. And if you want to follow us directly on Twitter, during the day. I'm at Joe Sarvati, J-O-E-S-A-R-V-A-D-I. Shane is at D-E-T Sports Shane, and Andrew is at Language Olympic. All right, no further ado, my man. We're getting into this slate, and with the morning uh, show, the only thing we don't have access to at this moment are the lines on the game. So uh, we'll have a a uh, quick bit here in the middle of the show that'll uh, let you know to go to mybookie.ag to check those lines throughout the day. We like to see that because certainly, uh, you know, big favorite pitchers uh, are certainly something you want to look at for for uh, KBO because of the potential of winning and p- potential of getting that uh, quality start. That was big help for me with both my pitchers last night. Uh, uh, came through with me big time. So um, that makes a huge difference. And that's, again, part of the reason for the 1% lineup uh, that uh, you'll see posted here shortly. All right, man, I'm going to let you dissect these games. The first game is KT Wiz against the Kia Tigers. KT is 25 and 28. The Kia Tigers are 27 and 23. KT has Hyung Jun So scheduled to pitch, but that might not be correct. Uh, they There was talk that he have, may have gotten sent down, so we're going to have to confirm him. Uh, every All the other pitchers are locked in, and the pitcher for uh, the Kia Tigers, as I say, uh, Min Woo Lee, 4 and 2 with a 4.75, uh, is the starting pitcher. All right, man, tell us. Who to play from this team and why? Yeah, I mean, with the KT Wiz pitcher Hyung Jung So, I mean, they 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 uh, demoted him to the the minor leagues over there. So I don't know that he's going to get his starting rotation here. Uh, so we will monitor that. That's why you want to get in our Discord throughout the day. We're going to be updating that. Now you might be able to hit some value on FanDuel if uh, one of their better pitchers, uh, like uh, 
uh, Cuevas or one of those other uh, better pitchers is in the rotation, um, you can get him for $22, whoever the KT Wiz pitcher is on FanDuel. For the, it'll be the Wednesday morning slate you know, for our Eastern time. So that's one thing to monitor. And also DraftKings will probably add that pitcher to the player pool. So that's one thing we're going to have to keep an eye on. So I wanted to mention that. Um, this is uh, at the Kia Tigers, one of the better hitters parks on the on the slate. And the pitcher, I don't like either of these pitchers. We'll see who the KT Wiz pitcher is because I could be targeting that. Kia is not really – not really hitting that good right now. They're running kind of cold where the KT Wiz are running hot right now. Um, I like stacking the KT Wiz in the slate. Um, we'll see how the rest of the slate progresses, but Min, Min Woo Lee, I think they can get to him. Um, I think they match up pretty good against him. So really uh, the top four guys, especially uh, Jay Bay and then Hwang, the third baseman, he's been on fire. And then of course you have the big guys, Mel Rojas and Bako King are both really good. Uh, and then typically batting six, uh, they also have Kay Park, who's their second baseman, who's been on fire lately as well. And he's a great value play. Um, so if you look at Jay Bay, their leadoff hitter, he's only 3100 on DraftKings and only $10 on FanDuel. So excellent value there in a pretty good matchup. Hwang's price has went up on DraftKings because he's been just lighting it up. He's 5300 Still probably worth paying up for him, depending on what you like at third base there. And only $11 on FanDuel for Hwang. And then Rojas and Kang are in that similar, you know, Rojas is still 6,300 on DraftKings and 17 on FanDuel. And then Kang is a little bit better value. I like Kang tonight over Rojas. Even, you know, I'm a Kang fan, <laughs> Baco Kang, but I do like him lefty against the righty here. He's really good against righties. He's only 5,400 on DraftKings so that you don't have to pay up quite as much. And he's $16 on FanDuel. And then, of course, K Park that I just mentioned is only 3300 on DraftKings and $8 on FanDuel. So that's a lot of players, but I, I think these are guys that it's worth stacking potentially three or four of these guys in, in this matchup in a hitter's park against a good matchup uh, in a really hot lineup right now. So that's kind of my opinion. I'm not looking to stack a lot of Kia guys, and we'll take a look at them depending on who the pitcher is for the KT Wiz. Um, and that's that's kind of where I'm at with this game. Well, we're on the same page in the sense I think this is the best hitting game on the slate right off the right out of the shoot. I'm yep. with you. I want to stack some KTW guys, probably a uh, three-man stack. I think Bay's too cheap. I think, uh, you know, Kang is reasonable. Huang is in, on Fandle way too cheap. Um, so I, I love that stack of those top guys. And then I want to, you know, follow this very closely on the the KTW pitching side because if somehow this young Joe So does pitch before they send him down then he's very stackable against because he's four and five with a 6.65 so I think you know then Tucker, Cha, Nah, all those guys are in play. Uh, if they call somebody up that's pretty good from the minors then you know I'll back off of that a little bit but if they use a spot starter that's normally, you know, make it like a bullpen game to kind of thing, then I'm all over Kia. I'm going to stack the other side and just look for like a 14-10 game, uh, which I think is very capable with these hitters in that ballpark. So uh, I know it's a lot in this first game, but, you know, I very well could have six hitters from this game very easily. Yeah, Absolutely. All right, let's rock game two. Uh, we've got the LG Twins at 29 and 24 at the Doosan Bears. The Doosan's 31 and 22. Uh, the Twins have Casey Kelly, 3 and 3, with a 4.89. And for Doosan, it's Jong G Park, 1 and 1, with a 3.79. What do you say, Sugar? Where's the money? Well, Casey Kelly's been kind of volatile, so he's been up and down, and it's kind of hard to like the matchup against Doosan. Now, there's not a lot of really great pitching options, so you could take a look at Casey Kelly, but I don't know if he's going to make my player pool at 9,300 on DraftKings. I don't think he's a great value there. And 2,400 on FanDuel, I don't think he has a lot of high uh, upside for strikeouts, and I like Doosan as the favorite here. Now, Doosan doesn't hit as good at, ho at home. We've, we've talked about that quite a bit on the last couple, few weeks on the couple podcast. couple of run difference, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they did put up nine runs, you know, today, which is, you know, <laughs> the right. Tuesday slate. Uh, so they are they actually are heating up right now. 
Um, and they actually do sound typically bats better against lefties, even though they're a heavy lefty uh, lineup. So they're, they're kind of like the reverse split team, which is weird. So you would look at that lefty righty and go, oh, this is the lock. Um, so I would say, my opinion, maybe you could get like two of your favorite guys from the Doostan lineup and, and, and take them in there. Um, I, le- I actually like a pivot here because I think, uh, Jose Fernandez is going to be the highest owned, and he's very expensive because Jose Fernandez just went absolutely – he just Five went hits. crazy. He went – yeah, I mean, what did he put up, like over 30 fantasy points? Yeah. Uh, so because of that, he's going to be mega chalk. I like actually pivoting to uh, Jay Juan Kim, who's their cleanup hitter, who does really good against righties. He's a lefty, um, and uh, where Fernandez does good against both, but Hawan Kim does better against righties, and he's only fifty two hundred on uh, on DraftKings and seventeen dollars on FanDuel. Uh, I think he's worth paying up for even on FanDuel. So I like Jay Hawan Kim as a pivot, as a lower owned guy who has a lot of power upside in this matchup. And then of course I like Kay Her. Kay Her's been on fire as well. He had a really good game today, put up seventeen uh, uh, points on uh, DraftKings. And he's only 3,500 on DraftKings still, and uh, he's third base eligible. Um, so that's a good play at third base if you don't want to pay up for Hwang from the K- KT Wiz. And then he's only $10 on on uh, FanDuel. So hers a great one. We'll see if he's batting uh, first or where he's going to be in the lineup. That's one of the things we'll look at when, when we're getting closer. And then also their catchers, say Hayu Park from Doosan, it would be a lefty going up against the righty in Casey Kelly, and he's only 3,700 on DraftKings and catchers, if you can get a good catcher that's in a good lineup here and a good matchup, that's pretty valuable because it's kind of hard to find those guys uh, for below $4,000 at $3,700. So I like those guys from Doosan. Um, on the other side, in terms of the matchup, I think you can take a look at this Doosan pitcher here, uh, uh, Jong G Park. He's a really young guy, hasn't really pitched that much, but he had a couple good outings. He had a rough outing last time out. But I like his price, $24 on FanDuel's reasonable, $7,200 on DraftKings. So I think he is viable. The LG Twins are really not, you know, not really that hot right now. They're, they're kind of slumping as well. Um, Ramos is kind of heating up, so that is a little bit of a concern. And Hayo So Kim, so those lefties at the top of the order are really good, but uh, – so, but I'm not really that worried about him. I think Park, uh, he does have a really good, uh, you know, off-speed pitch, and uh, and he can throw about 90, uh, even though he's a smaller guy. So I st- I do like uh, Park if you're looking for a value pitcher on the slate, even though it makes you a little nervous against these guys. Um, and then if you're not going to play Park, you can take a look at, of course, Hyun So Kim and Ramos, the, the the big lefties at the top of the order. Um, they're they're around five thousand dollars on DraftKings, and uh, Ramos is seventeen on FanDuel, and H Kim is fifteen on FanDuel. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at with this slate, uh, you know, so far what what we're looking at for this game. What about you? Are you thinking the same thing here? Uh, well, somewhat. I mean, I'm not a fan of either one of these pitchers. I think uh, Casey Kelly's been consistently just very average, and I I've not played him and haven't really missed uh, not having him in the lineup at all. Uh, Park does have some, you know, capabilities, uh, but he's young, inexperienced, um, and I think a couple of these lefties could get to him. So I'll just uh, just hone right in on what I'm looking at here. I'm looking at C. Lee, the leadoff hitter, and Ramos, who homered last night and looks Mm -hmm. like he's getting back into his groove. So Lee and Ramos I like on the LG side. And on the Doosan side, it, you know, it's going to depend on cost and how I'm going to uh, build my lineup. Uh, I'm not going to open the vault up for Fernandez, even though he helped me get a 1% lineup, you know, last night. Uh, I like J. Il O and J. Juan Kim, the three, four hitters. I just, you know, I just don't see that Kelly has uh, been that consistent. I think He's smart enough to maybe pitch around Fernandez a little bit, and I think it's going to help Owen Kim batting uh, behind him to clean up uh, all the the guys on base. So that's where I'm looking uh, for game two. So yeah. let's let's jump right into game three. So we keep it rocking for our people that want to listen this morning. We have the Lotte Giants 24 and 27 at the Hanwha Eagles 13 and 40. Uh, Straley, Dan Straley, one and two with a 2.54. Uh, 
Warwick Sopold, five and five with a 4.03. So you've got those two pitchers that we've we've rostered quite a bit this season, and uh, the Lote and Hanwha lineup, which went several extra innings so their bullpens are going to be a little you know tired and, out uh, just to give you an update there it, uh it went 12 innings hanwa scored two runs in the bottom of the 12th to win the game seven to six today so that was quite the <laughs> quite the exciting game there so well shout out to yeah. our man andrew hansen yeah big exactly. 14 parlay cha-ching yeah. cha-ching yeah absolutely oh man uh, so what, what do you th- feel about this Lote Hanwha game? You know, I, I, uh, I think that you, you it's going to be hard to get away from Dan Straley. I know he's had a couple rough outings lately, uh, but he's still a solid pitcher. He can go deep into the game. Uh, I think that because of the lack of good pitching options here and the volatility with the pitching and this slate, you almost have to pay up for Dan Straley is kind of my opinion here. Uh, it does make you a little nervous. Uh, Han Wah's lineup is much more formidable, formidable compared to what they normally have been, um, but they, they are still not that great of a team, even though they've improved greatly. Um, so in, in a lot of these players are going to be kind of worn out where Straley's rested, right? <laughs> these guys went 12 innings. <laughs> so they, they went for their time, they would have went until after uh, after 11 p.m. over there uh, in yeah. this, for this game, right? Uh, exactly. So. So yeah, I like Don, Dan Straley. Uh, he's he's one and two. He hasn't had a lot of run support though. You know, Lotes bats kind of go cold sometimes, and he has a two point five four ERA. He's ten thousand dollars on DraftKings and twenty nine dollars on FanDuel. I think you almost have to pay up for him. I know it's I know it's a lot, but we can definitely find some value here. Um, I think there's enough value to pay up for him. And then uh, uh, Southfold's pretty decent. He's $26 on FanDuel or $8,300 on DraftKings. If you're doing multiple lineups, GPP, you could play Southfold because you never know. Hanwha might be able to get to uh, get to Australia a little bit, enough to get him a win. And uh, the Lote, uh, you know, the Lote lineup hasn't been really that hot. Um, if you're looking at the Lote bat side, though, um, you know, really, they're all their top five guys are pretty solid. Hoon Jung, their leadoff hitter, just had a really good game. Asiop Son is going to be a lefty, has the platoon advantage. He's been really solid. And then Jun Woo Jian has power. And then, of course, they have Doho Lee and Dixon Machado. Now, Doho Lee, we might have to consider him. Uh, uh, he didn't do too good. He was 0 for 5, and I know you had him in some lineups. So he, I don't know. How, how do I yeah. get a 1% lineup when my first base power hitter was 0 for 5? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So we he's, might have to he's, let him he's sit dead, out. Of he's games. dead to me, sir. He's exactly. Dead. Yep. And I had uh, Preston Tucker was dead to me for a while, but he finally hit a home run last night. So we're going to, we might revive Preston Tucker now, too. Uh, so that's kind of where I'm at. You can look at Lote. They're not my favorite stack, but you can look at a few of those guys. Uh, they're pretty reasonably priced. Uh, and you almost have to look at Dan Straley. And, and because of Straley, normally I would try to take a couple of those Hanwha value guys like we've been getting, but it's really hard to trust them when they're going against Straley. So it's really not a great game to target. I think you just take Straley and maybe you take one or two Lote guys if it, if it fits your bill. That's about it, I think. Yeah, I you know, I don't like the price on Straley at all, but it is a weak pitching card. And I think they're going to try to extend his innings because the bullpen was used up last night. So Straley's going to make my lineups. Uh, he'll probably be my solo pitcher on FanDuel, and he'll be my base pitcher on uh, DraftKings. Uh, so, so, so called, I don't like at all. I watched him the last game. I had rostered him. Four innings, uh, 10 hits, six earned, just looked like garbage. And the la- he faced five starts ago, he faced this team, Lote, and he only made it through five innings, gave up 13 hits, seven earned runs. So, I yeah, so I am not on the so called bandwagon whatsoever. So um, you stacking Lote then? I'm not going to stack Lote. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, what I'm going to do though is, is take a couple of bats. You know, again, this, I, I'm like nine for nine. Whenever I put Ossiops on and he just gets it done. He yeah. got it done again last night, I, and I like him again in this game. I think, you know, the, he's just a solid, solid player. Uh, um, you know, so he may be just a one-off guy, and, uh, I'm, you know, I just don't feel like this game is going to be, uh, 
you know, that juicy. So probably just going to ride the Straley bandwagon uh, and hope he can get it done at that high price and then put my man Ossiops on in there uh, for a little bit of stick. And if, you know, if I need some value, guys, I will take a look at, you know, a few of the other folks on the Lotte uh, side of it. But even though uh, uh, Sopholds not done well recently, um, you know, I still don't feel super comfortable stacking against them. I think there's some better plays uh, on the card. So I'll give you one more sneaky play from Lotte. I'm just looking at my winning lineup for DraftKings for today's slate, and I yeah. played the catcher from Lotte, uh, and his name is Jun Tai Kim. And he's a yeah. lefty going up against uh, Sopold, which you said is struggling. And he was only $2,400. He had four hits, an RBI, and a walk for 16 DraftKings points. So that was a heck of a value at $2,400. And that helped me calf, cash in DraftKings. So, again, if you can get a value catcher that has a little upside there and a platoon advantage. that uh, So take a look at a catcher. Make sure he's in the lineup. Uh, June Tay Kim for Lote. He's another good guy there. Where does he bat? He's typically like eight or nine. Eight. Yeah. That's well, it. Well, Crazy. Yeah. Well, 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 here's what happened though, because we checked the lineups in the middle of the night. He batted fifth today. I know. Um, so you know what? They they might actually move him back up there, especially with the platoon advantage here. I um, think he may be the, a fantastic play if he does bat fifth again. I yep. think he's a terrific play, no doubt about it. But we'll I still, I'm still giving you trouble because oh, yeah. you always have at least two eight hitters. In oh, your those mind. eight hitters always crush it for me, man. These KBO eight hitters, man. Those guys, they're just waiting. They're just waiting in the wings. <laughs> for the listeners, he believes that four, the four is the cleanup. So if you're eight, you're double as good as the cleanup hitter. But yeah, I can't yeah, quite, cleanup. I yeah. can't quite let him, you know, get him all over to the the, the good side. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Uh, one thing real quickly here. We want to uh, throw in a, a quick word from our good friends at MyBookie.ag, especially now that you know we're doing these shows in the morning uh, without the lines. It's going to be super important uh, that you check them out throughout the day. So uh, listen in here uh, for a cool offer from MyBookie.ag. Summer is here, and sports are finally back, which can only mean one thing. It's time to kick back, relax, and make some cash. Everyone has to start somewhere, which is why you want to get off on the right foot by choosing an established book like MyBookie.ag. And with all the major sports seasons just around the corner, there's never been a better time to get in on the action. Dynamic betting lines and a simple-to-use platform make the process easier than it's ever been. Create your account in just a few easy steps. Deposit and begin placing your bets. Sign up now using promo code COACHTALK to get your deposit matched halfway all the way up to $1,000 plus $25 extra free play. That's promo code Coach Talk. Use it to score yourself an extra piece of the pie. With my bookie, you bet, you win, and most importantly, when you win, you get paid. All right. Yes, so definitely connect with them. You got to love a free $25 free play, too. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that at all. All right, let's uh, crush down a game four here. This one is interesting for sure because you've got a good pitcher against a good team and a bad pitcher against a bad team. I'm not sure if two negatives equal a positive or how this works, but the NC Dinos at 36 and 16. Uh, against the SK Wyverns at 16 and 37, so almost flipped. Uh, for the Dinos, it's Jay Hawk Lee, 3 and 5 with a 5.75 ERA. And Jian Wook Lee for SK, who's 2 and 2 with that garbage team with a respectable 3.23 ERA. And he has some decent stuff. So. That makes this game a little confusing to me. So help me figure this one out, Mr. Yeah, this Sugar. This is a little tricky one because Jaha Hawk Lee does not instill confidence for the Dinos. Uh, you could play him at a GPP just because he's in a, he has a really good matchup here. 
The SK Wyverns are not good at all. They're one of the worst teams in the league. And their stud uh, hitter, who usually bats third, uh, Jiung Cha, uh, their third baseman, was injured in today's game. I don't know how serious the injury is yet, but we need to take a look at that. That's another yeah. thing we'll be monitoring to see whether he might he might sit out. And that'll um, shuffle their order quite a bit, too. Yeah, so there, if, if, if Jiung Cha's out, you almost have to look at Jaha Lee. I would say more in GPPs. Uh, because he's very volatile. Uh, but yeah, $21 on, uh, on FanDuel is kind of interesting there. And then uh, 8700 on uh, on DraftKings. It's just, you know, this SK Weinberg's lineup is not very good. So I won't be looking to play any of those guys, even though they're in an okay matchup uh, with Hock Lee having a 5.75 ERA. Um, the, the other guy... The Wyverns, uh, Jeon Wook Lee, he doesn't really scare me that much. I'm not looking to play him. He's got a decent ERA at 3.23. Uh, last time out, though, uh, he did. He only made it through like four innings against Samsung, gave up eight hits, three earned runs and in four innings. He had a bunch of walks. He has an issue with a lot of walks, too. Uh, so he's going to put a lot of guys on base. The NC Dinos lineup is pretty much loaded from top to bottom. They have, you know, right-handers that bat good against righties. They have lefties that, that really mash. So I definitely like some bum Na, who's obviously one of the top guys here. He's expensive. You're going to have to pay 6000 on DraftKings, and I think he's up to $18 on FanDuel. But I think this might be a situation where he's worth paying up for. Um, and then we got to look and see with Min Woo Park. He's coming back. Their, their cleanup hitter is usually playing second base for the Dinos. If he comes back. He's another guy to take a look at. He is expensive on DraftKings, so at 5,500. Uh, but we got to see if he's going to be in the lineup full time. And then I still like uh, Aaron Altier, uh, $5,700. He's 16 on uh, FanDuel. Yuju Yang is really nice catcher, but he is a little expensive at 6,100 on on uh, DraftKings. So I don't know if we're going to pay up that much. And then you still have Suk Min Park and Jay King. And then you also have H. Kwan, who's been on fire lately. He's only 3,200 on DraftKings, and I think he's only 10. I think he's still 10 on, on FanDuel. Uh, so my point is you can pretty much go, depending on, I think Dinos, you have to look at their lineup and see where these guys are batting, and you can get a couple of those value guys and maybe pair him with some bum not in this matchup here. Um, and I think that uh, the SK Weinverns uh, ballpark is the best hitters ballpark on this slate as well. So you got the Dinos going up against a kind of shaky pitcher in a hitters ballpark. Uh, and going, going Wokley doesn't, you know, he's definitely not that impressive. Last time uh, he went up against the Dinos here, he only made it through three innings, gave up uh, seven hits, five runs, a home run. Yeah, so he just got completely rocked last time he, he went up against him as well. Um, and that was at the NC Dinos. This is even a better uh, better hitters park now. So, so that's kind of where we're at with this game here. What, what are you thinking? Well, I, this game uh, bothers me. Like I said, I just it's just an yep. imbalanced uh, game for me because yep. I don't see the good pitcher to pitcher, hitter to hitter uh, matchups. Um, I I find it amazing they have uh, Altier scheduled to bat cleanup. You know he's played so well all year, and I've been waiting. He's been batting eighth and seventh, so they've moved him up, 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 and you know I I think he's a terrific play because he's he's a five-tool player. He can hit one out, and he can steal a base just as easily. Um, I, I really like Altier uh, in this matchup. He's my favorite player from this game. Um, SK is just so all over the place. They're hard to figure out uh, if they're going to produce anything. I don't like uh, Jay Hawk Lee, though, for the Dinos, but, I you know, I just... The bottom line is this game just seems too volatile, uh, just too much to, to really focus on. I'm pretty much going to try to go all tier and just move on because we've got some solid stacks we've already gone through. So I don't want to push the envelope in a game here that I think is just mismatched. And you're going to have a, you know, a, an odd line here. It could, you know, if the Dinos score eight, nine runs early, you know, you never know what if they're going to pull people, what's going to happen. So I just want to steer clear of the game. All right, man. We got one final game left. All right. Samsung Lions, 29 and 25 
against the Kiwoom Heroes, 33 and 21. Tai In Wan, 5 and 2 with a 2.99. And Sung Hyun Moon, 1 and 0 with a 2.22. So you got two pitchers with some crisp numbers there. Uh, are you on either one of these pitchers, or do you like some hitting? Yeah, this is a tough one. Uh, Moon is uh, really hasn't had had that much experience, um, and but if you do want to take a look at him uh, for Kiwoom, he's only forty eight hundred dollars on DraftKings. So if you want a punt play that could have some potential here, um, this is again a pitcher's park at Kiwoom. Uh, forty eight hundred dollars. That's an interesting uh, build there to to have that value pitcher. If you want to pair him with Straley, who's really expensive. Um, not probably my first choice. Again, that's more of a GPP play. Um, yeah, so I'm not looking at a lot of the hitter, hitters here because the pitchers are pretty good. Um, I will tell you that uh, Samsung has been really hot. Um, they've, just, won, they've won eight of their last 11. Yeah, they put up 13 runs, you know, in today's games. Um, they do have uh, Hakju Lee back at shortstop. Uh, yeah. I did play him on uh, DraftKings and it got him at like 3% ownership and he had uh, two runs, two hits, a double, you know, so he was pretty solid. So he's a guy to keep an eye out for there. Again, a lefty against a righty. And this other guy, Ha Min Park, uh, has been really good as well. And he's typically batting second and he's a nice little sleeper. I just played him on uh, FanDuel at $7 and he put up 22 fantasy points today. Nice. Um, so so, so just to kind of give you some live updates of games that just finished, obviously he was a big part of them scoring their uh, 13 runs there. Uh, so I think that you can take a couple of these guys here. Ja Wu-Ku is good. And even their leadoff hitter, Song Soo Kim, has been really hot as well. He can get on base and steal multiple hit guys. And they're usually really reasonably priced as well. They're actually a little more expensive on DraftKings because they've been consistent. But FanDuel refuses to price them up. Yeah. So, yeah, so don't be afraid to take a couple, one or two of these Samsung guys uh, uh, on on FanDuel like I did with uh, Ha Min Park. Yeah, he's hit a couple times for me on FanDuel, uh, even though it's not the greatest lineup. Um, I don't know if Moon's going to pitch that much. Of course, Kiwoom has a pretty good bullpen as well, so that's one thing to keep in mind. But I don't know. Samsung's just been so hot. I think that they they can still score quite a few runs in this in this matchup here. I'm not too too worried about it. I'm just not looking to stack them. And then I think you can take a look at uh, Tay In Woon because I think he can get uh, quite a few strikeouts against Kiwoom. They tend to strike out more, and Kiwoom's not their batters haven't been playing uh, that great the last few games. But again, it's not my favorite play, but you can take a look at Tay Tay and Woon from Samsung, the pitcher, because I think Samsung actually uh, sh uh, should be the favorite in this game. Um, but but it's it's close though because Key Woon's also a really good team. So uh, so like you said, it's a it's a tricky. I think it's a tricky uh, one to f to figure out here as well in Game Five. Well, I this is one we disagree on, so that's okay. good though. We that's fine. We you know we got to give the listeners some options. Um, I'm sort of flipping the script from your feeling on this game. I'm, yeah. I think Kiwoom will be the favorite, and I think Moon, yeah. uh, from what I've seen, looks really good. I if if I think he's a guy that can slow this Samsung team down. I see him pitching maybe a good six innings, uh, just giving up a run or two with some strikeouts, and for 4,800, he absolutely is a fantastic play. Just from the value side of the potential, I mean, he makes the Straley price very, very acceptable. So I know it's going to be chalky, but I think the Straley-Moon combination makes all the sense in the world because you can still get your big bats, and I think he's got some good potential there. Um, I know Samsung, like I said, they've won eight of their last 11, so I do respect them, but I, you know, I think that variants will start slowing down a little bit and it's at the heroes ballpark uh so i love moon and i like the two lefties uh up high in the kiwoom order kco the leadoff and my man jung ho lee so if i get jung ho lee and asiop Asa son on the same squad i mean those are my two boys right there yeah. so so yeah we're sort of flipped on that well game so Moon is tricky. The 
the pitcher here, Moon, is tricky because he hasn't started a game yet. He's a he's been a bullpen guy, so right. he's really the most he's pitched is two innings uh, right. this year. So that's where it's going to be re- remains to be seen how long he'll actually pitch here. Um, it could be more of a they lean on their strong bullpen in this game here. Um, but again, I think Samsung's been just surprising people, and I and I and I'm continue to be confident in these Samsung guys that are really hot. You know, I'm not saying they're going to put up 13 runs again, but I just think that you can't, you can't discount those guys too much. But yeah, I think Moon, I have no issue taking a shot at him on DraftKings at $4,800. He's $28 for comparison on FanDuel. So FanDuel likes him. Ludicrous. Yeah. But you just don't know what you're going to get. Are you going to get three or four innings out of him? I did read that this isn't a bullpen game. You know, they like this guy. He's young. Uh, this is literally his first start. So, I mean, Good. five or six innings is probably what you have to expect uh, if he pitches well. And I just think it becomes, you know, you've got a kid with ability that's less than half the price of the other pitcher. You know, oh, yeah. it's, it's so just from the dollar side on DraftKings, I think you have to do it. A hundred percent don't do it on FanDuel. So it's, you know, it's site dependent how you're building that. And, you know, being a cash player, it is a little riskier. But if you want to get the big bats and you do want to roster Scraley, I think it's a great lane to go to in order to get those guys uh, that we want to, to try to get some bombs out of there. Sound good, man? Yeah, yeah, I think that that's pretty good. I, I would say that Samsung with Hak Ju Lee back, they have uh, three or four really good lefties in that lineup. So that's where that's where they they kind of get they've been getting that advantage against right-handed uh, uh, hitters here uh, or pitchers. So that that'll be an interesting lineup uh, yeah. with Samsung being hot and then Moon with his first start. That'll be very interesting to watch. So yeah, I I mean I think on DraftKings he's going to get some ownership just because of the pricing. But oh yeah. I don't, you know, other than that, he won't be super owned, certainly won't be owned at all on FanDuel uh, probably. But, you know, it's it's a bad pitching night. There's not a lot of you know standout guys by any stretch. So you just, you know, uh, Australia will be chalky just because everybody's going to fall to Australia because there's not just not that many good guys. So, And the uh, final thing I will say is that Kiwoom has been – kind of boom or bust since they're coming off kind of an off game where they only put up two runs. They're totally the team that comes back and puts up like eight to 10 runs to, uh, with tonight's slate. So I do like a few of those uh, key womb guys uh, just because I don't think, uh, I don't think uh, the pitcher for Samsung one is that great and you can get to their bullpen as well. So, yep. So I do, I do like those hitters as well. I mean, the usual guys, pretty much the top four, you know, four guys are all, all in play there. No doubt. A couple of things I want to remind everybody. uh, If The real next step from this podcast is jumping in our Discord and looking at our uh, what we're doing and how we're building teams and what we're chatting about in there. And then also being in there 30 to 40 minutes before lock when we're actually releasing our FanDuel lineup and our uh, DraftKings player pool. you, you can join us, and this is the time to join. It's July 7th. We're not beginning the clock on any memberships until July 30th. Uh, we felt that it was the right thing to do is ride this out. So if you go to DFSCoachTalk.com and you purchase a monthly membership, that month does not start until July 30th. So you get, in essence, this uh, three weeks, three and a half weeks of our KBO and PGA content lineups, the whole nine yards uh, for free. So join in, uh, fast going, growing community. We have some great members in there. Uh, really excited uh, to have some people get involved. Also on social media, we're on YouTube, as I said, uh, at DFS Coach Talk. On Instagram, we're DFS underscore Coach Talk. And uh, on Twitter, uh, I'm sorry, on YouTube, we're just DFS Coach Talk. So you can find us there. And if you if you look us up on YouTube, we have a great library of videos and podcasts of going over the preview for basketball, football, and baseball. We really took advantage of the time that sports were down to break down each team, 
you know, one team per uh, podcast. So great to go back and listen to in preparation for baseball and basketball starting. Also, the last thing I want to mention, our charity of choice here at DFS Coach Talk is mambaon3.org. That's M-A-M-B-A-O-N-T-H-R-E-E.org, all spelled out. A uh, wonderful uh, charity set up by the Bryant family. So that is it, my man. Uh, we are in the books. We're going to get this posted. Give us some thumbs up. Give us some comments. You'll see a few new things today. Uh, I'm chatting for like 50 seconds, I think, at the front end, just talking about uh, DFS Coach Talk and who we are and what we're looking to accomplish, just to give everybody a quick idea. Uh, and then we have a, a, our new ad spot in there with my bookie uh, that where we've teamed up, which is really cool. So let us know if you like the new format, if you like the earlier podcast, and uh, we want to do what you guys uh, need. And you know, we're always going to keep this podcast in front of the paywall. So we'll get you going, get you helping to build that lineup, and we'd love you to join us so we can uh, help you finish up and get some one percenters like we just had last night. I mean, it's this KBO, it runs, and you don't know what days or which days or mornings. or It's, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's mind-bending. But, you know, the bottom line is a couple of hours ago we had a one percent lineup, and now we got this lineup ready to roll. So we're pretty fired up. And then the – the, tomorrow we have the double header podcast where it'll be uh, KBO with Shane and Andrew, and then Andrew and I will be on with PGA. So we'll have both of those posted. Hopefully, uh, the PGA one in the morning and probably uh, the KBO one uh, around dinner time. That's what it's looking like right now. So. Fantastic, man. Great to do a show with you. Thanks for jumping on early with me. Uh, awesome. Fantastic to be able to sweat a game. And then t- what was that, man? Oh, that was a, a doorbell alarm. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that is. Uh, no, that means winner. That It sounded like the horns they play at hockey games when there's a goal. Woohoo! Let's go. Yeah, that was, that was your. That was the horn for your winning lineup, your 1% lineup. There you go. That was the celebration. Air the horn. 1% air horn lineup and yeah. the fifth birthday of Mr. Darius Hansen as well. Yeah. That was the, yeah. the big salute. We need to keep that alarm horn. We're going to play that for all like 5% and up lineups. We'll, we'll get your we will. Yep. The We're hockey that goal. Line. Hockey goal, air horn sound. And the Hanwha <laughs> Eagles won in the bottom of the 12th inning, too. So. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Andrew taking it down. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, brother. Well, you have a great day. And listeners, same thing. Have a great one, a safe one. Stay healthy. Ride out this crazy pandemic baloney. And let's get into some sports. Uh, it's such a great distraction. And we're excited to be part of it. So for my man, Sugar Shane Caldwell, and for Andrew Hansen, as well, and all of our DFS Coach Talk team. I am Coach. We'll look to catch you again tomorrow when we look to crush it in both PGA and KBO.